What is going on everyone, and welcome back to another video. Amazon Game Studios. We need to have a little chat. First things first, I gotta give credit where credit is due. You all went to Korea to communicate with Smilegate on some of the glaring issues Global is facing. So good job on that. Let's continue communicating with them and more importantly, with your players. We want this game to succeed just as much as you do. Now, let's get on to some of the issues I see personally or am reading about from other players. Number one, there is a low supply of fusion materials. Even the new Chaos Dungeon purification system only gives 750. This is a little disappointing. This is the biggest bottleneck for all players. New, casual, veterans, we all struggle with having enough fusion materials. To help put it into perspective, honing from 1600 to 1620 costs 4,084 prime oreja fusion materials. That is way too hard to catch up. Now, I'm not going to say that I don't appreciate these new systems added that give a little bit more materials, you know, I'll always take free materials, thank you. But keep in mind about how many we actually need. And this is just for one character. Times this by however many other alts your players have, and it's even more that we need. It is frustrating to have China get this system before we did, when they likely don't even need this much help at their current game state. Do better. This is a good segue into number two. China is getting item level requirement nerfs for Voldis and Thamine Hard, 1610 and 1620 respectively. Really? If I'm aware, China is currently on a con right now. They already have things set in place for the next two raids. Meanwhile, we can't even get the Echidna HP nerfs on time. China is just the absolute golden standard for how this game should be run. The lower item level requirements make perfect sense for being able to get 40 set much quicker and have the actual chance to fight Thaymine hard where all the real dark fire loot is. Treat your players better or they will leave. Our player base is continuing to drop. I'm sure you know this too. Do better. Number three. Talking a little bit more about boss HP um, nerfs in general. There seems to be a lack of consideration for our progress versus Korea's progress when releasing bosses. I'm speaking more for the average players here. Those who have the plus 19 or 20 Akan weapons at 1630 with a few level 10 gems. These players need to fight a boss, Echidna, that has over 130 billion HP. What? I've done countless Echidna hard lobbies, and most of the players there are barely hitting 20 mil DPS. Some even hitting lower. Here's a quick visual of two separate Echidna runs that I totally got from my friend, by the way. Hot? Yes, I understand that 20 mil DPS is a bit on the lower end, but that's just the average skill level here, especially with the gear we have. We don't have enough time to farm enough to get our characters stronger like Korea did. And that's fine. If you want us to accelerate to Korea's timeline, then go back to point number one, which is boost the honing materials. Do better. Now, Number four, we'll go back to the Lost Ark page here, and we see basic life energy potions. This is in the purification shop, and let's see if it's going to pop up anytime soon. Da, 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 da. There it is. Okay, who is this for, right? What, who, who is that for? Isn't this just encouraging bots to life skill more and inflate gold more? then why implement bound gold in the first place? 
why can't we just have unlimited use of the stronghold farm as long as we have the life energy to do it? Those are bound, and that would actually help us craft more orejas and prevent bots from selling. Not a lot of people do life skills. There's too many other things to do in this game, so the bots are the only ones winning here. Just let us use them unlimited farm. Do better. Number five. So when you create a new character with the Voldus Pass, you should be able to select the stats you need from the free growth accessories, the ones that I'm showing here, that they give you in the beginning. Give it to the new players after they have some kind of tutorial about accessories. Why is my Aeromancer, who used the Voldus Pass for my Pro to Beginner series, having such a hard time getting the proper specialization accessories to actually play the class properly? The randomized accessories the game gave me led me to have 16 specialization in the beginning. 16 on Drizzle. You can see it in my Vicus video. I had no goal to buy the proper accessories from the auction house either. You all did it correctly for the other express passes. As you can see here, I, I used the express pass on the soul leader I have, and I have the correct stats. But not for the Voldus pass. Why even offer these terrible accessories in the first place then? Expertise and domination? Come on! This needs to be fixed immediately. Do better. Okay, I think we covered some of the things that really need some work in Lost Ark. They are going in the right direction so far, but we need the new players to come in, the returning players to come back, and the veterans to stay. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would very much appreciate it if you click on that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.